Hi, I'm Rebecca Meza. Today I'm going to show you how to attach a cartoon for tapestry weaving to your floor loom. I weave most of my tapestries on this Harrisville rug loom. I do use a black and white cartoon and this requires a little bit of a different procedure than um, you would use on an upright tapestry loom due to my use of the overhead beater bar on the loom. I'm going to show you how to attach a cartoon on a loom like this today. I've come to the point where I need to advance my warp before I can draw on some more of the cartoon. Um, I still have a couple inches of um, drawn on portion visible on my warp and I want to draw on the next section of the cartoon while that is still there so I can match those up. Um, and make sure I get a good fit for the next section of the drawn on cartoon. Before I advance my warp, I'm going to um, stabilize the countermarch mechanism on this loom by putting this pin in. And then I need to loosen the cloth beam, and I've got a worm gear here which is going to squeak. Then I can lower my warp extender on the back of the loom and give myself a little extra warp so I can wind it forward. Wind it forward. I want to give myself as much room here to, to draw on the new warp section as possible. The next thing I want to do is move this beater bar back as far as possible to give me maximum amount of warp to draw onto. On this loom I can move it back, it's adjustable here, and then I use bungee cords to tie it. My cartoon lives right here underneath the beater bar um, during the whole time I'm weaving the tapestry. It's rolled on a long stick and um, it can just tuck underneath that beater and uh, the beater clears it as I'm weaving. Um, I copy my tapestries onto a clear acetate which um, is, is quite tough and I can pin it to the um, tapestry that I've woven so far uh, as I'm marking it. When I'm ready to mark on a new section of the tapestry, I simply pull out the cartoon and look for the section that I have just finished and I'm going to match it up with the, the lines that are still visible um, on the warp here. I hang the um, cartoon uh, from this bar and because I have an overhead beater, I'm able to um, suspend it right under the warp. It takes a little bit of fussing to get the cartoon lined up with the marks that are on there previously. Um, at this juncture, in this particular tapestry, I've chosen a point just below a major color change. There's going to be a line all the way across this tapestry that changes colors. And that's a good point to draw on um, a, a new section of the tapestry because I can line that line up through the warp with the cartoon underneath. Um, the other thing that I do frequently on large tapestries is I'll draw a line straight down the middle of the cartoon in a separate color and then I mark on the warps and here I've done it in blue um, where that line goes so I can get the middle of the tapestry right down the center. Okay, once I have the tapestry uh, cartoon lined up with where I want it to go, I simply use some T-pins and pin right through the tapestry and into the acetate, making sure not to go through a warp. Once I've got this bottom part of the cartoon lined up and pinned where I want it to go, um, I need to get over the cartoon and be able to um, trace where the marks are going to go on the warp and the center of the cartoon tends to sag a little bit so this is the way I've jerry-rigged that. I use two dowels and a very long leash stick and I stick the dowels like this and that center of that leash stick will hold the middle of that cartoon up fairly accurately. So I'm going to position my body as I'm tracing on 
directly over the lines I'm seeing through the warp. And then I dot them on carefully with the Sharpie all the way up as far as I can go. Okay, I'm ready to actually draw on this tapestry and you wanna get your head right over um, the, the line that you're tracing on. So here you can see the old lines and I'm gonna just continue dotting. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see where you need to put the dots and in that case sometimes if you close an eye take away your binocular vision it can help. If you'd like more information about my work um, check out my blog at rebeccamezoff.blogspot.com or perhaps my website rebeccamezoff.com or click the link right below if you're on YouTube.